about something. Okay, it's it's human. Hello? Take it easy in there. You're safe now. You'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Clyde when they're at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but things would go so much faster if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology, something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based, similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they've failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleino compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis, effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right up. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat, where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. The Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Take a look at this, Gordon.
The Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here, working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. So, here we are. The scrapyard. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the Zero Point Energy Field Manipulator, if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. The secondary trigger lets you grab things. You can throw them with the primary. Once you pick something up, you can drop it gently by pressing your secondary trigger again. Pick up some stuff and toss it. You can also pull stuff over from a distance. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. Try grabbing those barrels from that ledge up there. All right. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog! Come! Good doggy! Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Go ahead, dog. Throw!
Throw another dog.
Another life to save? I'll keep my eye on you. More than that, I cannot promise.
Brother, make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. 
Look out, brother! Behind you! In Ravenholm, you do well to be vigilant. Better and better! I am Father Grigori. You have already met my congregation. <laughs> are the least concerned.
Although they call me crazy, I care not, for thou art my helper, my strength, and my savior. Closer. You've stirred up hell, a <laughs> man after my own heart. Here I have a more suitable gun for you. You'll need it. Catch! Good. Now, keep it close. My advice to you is, aim for the head. Hush. They come. There is no rest in Ravenholm. Move on and I will meet you at the church. The grave holds nothing worse for you! <laughs>
Ammunition depleted. Ammunition depleted. Of my groaning, my bone has cleaved to my flesh. Ah, there you are. At last. I will send the cart for you, brother. It will be but a moment. Patience, brother. Guard yourself well. Break, brother, release it and come down. <laughs> Greetings, brother. And so we meet at last. You are to be commended for avoiding my traps. The work of a man who once had too much time on his hands, and now finds time for nothing but the work of salvation. I suspect you have little wish to remain in Ravenholm, so I will show you to the mines. As for me, a shepherd must tend to his flock, especially when they have grown unruly. Follow me, brother, and tread lightly, for this 
is hallowed ground. worse of thee. Follow me. Quickly, brother. Child. Children, it is I. Thank 
him up and get him to the back as soon as he's stable. Gordon Freeman? It's incredible you made it. We've been getting communications from Alex. I'll see if I can reach her again. Follow me. It's Leon. We're all clear. And I've got Gordon Freeman. Freeman, you're kidding. Look, I've been on the line with Alex. Her father's been captured. Over here, Dr. Freeman. Eli Vance is indispensable to the liberation. Alex, it's Leon, and I've got Gordon Freeman with me. Gordon, you made it to Raven Home. Thank God. I need your help. They've taken my father. He's been taken to Nova Prospect. The Vortigons tracked the ship that made off with him and Judith Mossman. While the trains are still running, I'm gonna hitch a ride. Here's where you come in, Gordon. I need you to make your way along the coast until you get to Nova Prospect. It used to be a high-security prison. It's something much worse than that now. But I think it's still easier to sneak in than to break out. You wanted to take the coast road? He won't last five minutes on foot. It's spawning season for the antlions. That's why I called you, Leon. I was hoping you still had the scout car left last summer. The one my dad rigged with the towel can. Yeah, good idea. Hold on a sec. Narco? Bring the buggy out. We're on the dock right now. Gordon Freeman will be driving. I just finished mounting an ammo crate on the back. Good timing. Okay, Alex, we're all set. Thanks, Leon. Gordon, I haven't driven the coast in over a year, but I have no reason to think it's gotten any safer. Meet me in the depot where the trains unload. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in another prospect. Bye for now. Bye, Alex. Okay, Doc. Before you hit the road, you might want to grab some med kits, uh, restock on ammo, maybe check the map, see where you're headed. There's an ammo supply crate on the back of the car, if that's any comfort. Stay with the car, make use of the thumpers, you'll stand a fair chance against the antlions. I'll radio ahead.
for you. Hop in and I'll lower you down to the beach.
Freeman! Hurry, get in the basement! We're expecting gunships at any moment! Colonel Cubbage will be glad to see you made it! This steerable rocket launcher is our best bet for taking down a gunship. Ah, hello! I'll be right with you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Using the laser guide, you can steer your rocket past the gunship's defenses and prevent it from shooting down your rocket. This will only anger it at first, but if you can survive long enough to make several direct hits, you'll be rewarded with a prize worthy of many hits. Now, who's going to be the lucky one to carry it into combat? Oh, yes. Gordon Freeman. I couldn't have asked for a finer volunteer. Colonel Odessa Cubbage at your service. Dr. Freeman, we know Eli Vance is depending on you.
Oh, <laughs> 